Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. But well, it's been a while since I've filmed and I miss YouTube. I miss YouTube, but I've been very, very busy and sick for a very long time. And I just had a really hard time to get into my filming schedule and I miss, I miss YouTube and I'm back. Uh, I'm back, but I will at least have one video a week, maybe two, maybe two. But I'll try to be consistent like I was before, <laughs> before I got so much to do and no time to film. But I'm here today to actually review the new Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier Foundation. And it's the new Real, Real Flawless Weightless Perfect, Perfection Foundation. And I have it in shade Lenin or Linen 2 and 2. And let's just try it. Let's just try it and see what we think about it. If you're new, welcome, welcome. I hope you'll consider to subscribe and like this video. If not, sorry for that. If you're an old subscriber, happy to see you again. Now I'm using the Tatcha cream that I got from my friend Valerie. I'm priming with Wet n Wild primer. I'm setting the primer with some powder. I always do that. Okay, now let's remove this stuff. The stuff, the stuff, the stuff. Now I have two palettes and I don't know which one we're going to use. I want to do my eyes before we go in with the foundation. And I have the Anastasia palette and it's the, what's it called? Nuvi? Nuvi? I can't pronounce it. This palette. And I also have this one from Pat McGrath. This is the Celestial Nirvana or Nirvana. Nir Nirvana, Nirvana, can't pronounce it either, but looks like this. This is the palette. And let's open it. This is how the eyeshadows look. It's beautiful palette. I haven't even used it. Oh, I love the purple one. Maybe we should use this one. Let's see. Let's open this Anastasia palette too. It's a beautiful palette too. I remember promising myself not to buy this one, but it was so beautiful and I just had to when I see it, saw it in real life. Whoop, there it goes. This one is cute too. I don't know which one to use. Let's go with this one. We'll use the other one, Pat McGrath, in another video. Subscribe if you want to see that. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do, but let's go in and set with Paloma. Oh, it's really bright. And they're a little bit powdery, like every Anastasia palette is, I should know. Let's go in with this one, and then we are going to go in into this one, the purple one. Fleur, I'm going to go into, I think this is, I can't pronounce the name, so don't make fun of me, but <laughs> let's show you the colors. Let's go in, in my crease with this one, just build, build it up. Now let's go into this bright purple and just build it into the crease. Oh, it's very pigmented. If somebody asked me, which eyeshadow brush is my favorite? I will definitely say this one from Sigma E27. I've been using it every single day. Really, really like it. Now it's a little bit dirty. I just tried to clean it off fast, but we are going to use it. We are going to use it. And I do want to go in into this Liberty, this green, deep green shade and build up the edges a little bit. Now I'm going to use the same brush and I do want to go into this Muse, which I feel like it's a little bit shimmery, but I do want to dip up this green one just a little bit. And I'm going to use my fingers 
Now I want to go into Lily, this color here, this beautiful, beautiful shade. Oh, it's such a beautiful color in real life. It's like a duochrome. Really, really beautiful. I'm going to go in and take the Luna Beauty number no. four, this cute pointing brush, LH Cosmetics Liquidy Eyeshadow in shade Blink. And it's, I can't explain, duochrome, but it's one of the most beautiful shades you've ever seen. And I swatched it on my hand when I got it and I just, I was mesmerized. Can't explain, there are so many colors, green, purple, pink, orange, blue, depending on the light, how light hits it. Now it looks like green, but in some light it looks purple. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, unfortunately it doesn't want to show the real color, but I'm going to upload apply it, <laughs> upload it, apply it on my eyelids. I just put some on my hand and we are going to use the brush. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's never late to show you the product that I was obsessed last year. Even if I didn't film a lot, I did use plenty of products, but some products I can't stop using. And one of those is the Yummy Skin Glow Serum. Now I tried both shades. There are two shades, one lighter and one deeper. This is the deep one, Juicy Boost, I think. And it just gives me very beautiful glow stays on the whole day, it's moisturized my skin. I just love this product. And for the primers, I've been using different primers, but one, pro, pr one primer that I think everybody needs to have, the, doesn't matter what kind of skin, pro, skin issue or skin texture you have, it's the Danessa Marik's Yummy Skin Universal. It's the, the, I just This is my second product, second package, and I already have one that's sealed that I bought. This will make everything last the whole day, smooth everything, still moisturize your skin, minimize your pores. I just love, love this product. You can apply it everywhere, in the brows, everywhere, in the eyelids, everywhere. It's really, really good product. And I have plenty of shades. This is number three to two. Let me just show you. I mean, I mean, just love it. We are going to go into the foundation. Now, why I didn't go in with other primers? There are plenty of products that primers that I really like. I do like this from One Size Beauty that my friend Valerie sent to me. I really enjoy this. I do like the uh, Smashbox oil control. I do have other primers that I enjoy, male primer, but I do want to go in with this one to try the foundation because this is the product that I use when I want to, when I'm in hurry, I just want to, you know, put my makeup and go out. So let's see the foundation. I went to the store and I did swatch two and one and two and two. And two and one, I think it's cashmere, I'm not sure about the name, but that one was totally my match. But I always go just a little bit above and go with a deeper shade because I look like a ghost when I match myself perfectly. And I've said that a couple of times. I think you're tired if you watch a couple of my videos, me saying that. So I did went a little bit with a deeper shade because I do use self tanners. I do like to get a little bit more bronzier. So this is the packaging. Cute packaging. We're going to shake it. I don't know if you need to, but I'm going to shake it. Now I've seen people use it on TikTok, just short videos, and plenty of people use the brush. Then they go with the with the it's called with a sponge. Now uh, men, plenty of my brushes are not clean, so I'm going to go in with this. Is the makeup Mecca? I think this is a foundation brush. Uh, is the cleanest I have right now. And I'm going to go in with a sponge. This is LH Cosmetics sponge. It's a new sponge that I'm actually going to try today 
so I don't know how this is going to work but I do like the regular LH Cosmetics sponge that is for the foundation I really enjoy that so I think I'm going to enjoy this one too let's go in and spread some on my hand or back on my hand it's a little bit deeper so if you see the color not really being my shade it's because I want it that way This is definitely a very light product. Usually I don't use the brushes to apply my foundations. I like sponges, but everybody else do it like this. So let's do like everybody else. Definitely too deep. I know how I match myself, but sometimes the lights in the stores are misleading. I am going to go in with just one more pump and use the sponge. Maybe one and a half. The sponge took everything. Ooh, it's medium coverage, but I really like how it looks on the skin so far. It doesn't, I can't feel it on the skin. Re very light weight. It dried down. Perfect around my nose. I am going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury concealer the sponge is weird but it really works for blending the concealer and the concealer blends really nice on top of the foundation the foundation looks really 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 good I really like how it looks on my skin it looks like my skin it really looks like my skin. Nice. I am going to go in with the bronzer. Now I tried this bronzer three weeks ago and I had it for a very, very long time. This is the Makeup Mecca uh, bronzer and this is the sha Shady Brown. And it's like a, this spongy applicator. Twist it like this. Then you press it out and apply it. And I really enjoy this. this blends into foundations beautifully looks to be dark but trust me it will blend and leave this beautiful color just look how beautifully it blends into the foundation like you see it blended really really nice now we are going to go in makeup mecca's blush this is the shade peachy pink A beautiful blush also twist and I know it looks bright. I know it looks bright, but it's it's beautiful and it's going to blend beautifully. It goes really nice with the pink or purple eyeshadow. Look at it. Look at that blend. You see that? That's perfection. And we are going to go also in Makeup Mecca's highlighter. This is in shade Hello You. Now that this one I like to blend with my fingers. And to set it, we're going to go in with Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom. To set the rest of the face, we're going to go in with Kaya Cosmetics Translucent Powder and a powder brush. We're going to go back into the palette and now we are going to go and do the under eye. Okay, we're going to go in in Sosu 204 and let's go in the purple that we had, the bright purple. And I then want with the same brush, I'm going to go into that Muse color that we had here on the edge. Just deep off the edge here a little bit to lift the eye. Now I'm going to go and use a product that I haven't been haven't used before, and it's the LH Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil. Now I have two shades: I have taupe and dark brown, and we are going to go in with taupe 
first. I got these two in the calendar. It's a beautiful thin pencil with a spoolie. Really beautiful. And let's try it. I don't usually do much to my eyebrows. So this will be enough. I do like this product too. I do like it. And right now I think we should just use a little bit of bronzer. This is Fenty Beauty in shade Sun Sunstock. Just go around and set the cream bronzer. And to set the cream blush, I have a couple of choices, but I think I want to go in with the Dior, the Rosy Glow, because it's pink, it's bright, and it's what we want. Just a little bit, just to set the cream bronzer, or blush, cream blush. And I did use the Cash Beauty number four. I love it for the blush. Now I'm going to set everything and I do have, I love this, can't purchase it in Sweden, but I finished it. My friend Valerie sent to me, I just am obsessed. I wanted to try the Pure Matte Mist, but this one doesn't work. The mist, I haven't even tried it. I can't remove it. I wanted to remove this to fill another bottle, but it's broke. But we are going to go in and use the Stayer from Makeup Mecca. I've used it twice, I think. Actually, I have no thoughts. I think it works nice. I don't like the sprayer, but it's a good product. It's very harsh. It just hits you in the face. Let's look at the foundation. The foundation looks beautiful. Everything else melted nice into the skin together with the foundation, but it looks like I don't have foundation on. Really looks like I don't have any foundation on. This is a really good foundation. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but my own fault, my own fault, I would definitely make this work, but it's a beautiful product. Let's use a couple of more products before we end this video. New products, new that I haven't tried before or new to me. Uh, let's do eyelash curler, the best one, LH Cosmetics. Now I'll be using LH Cosmetics mascara. I actually have two, that's how much I like it. Here, two of them, if you don't believe me. It's just the uh, Infinity Power Lash, it's called. Re regular mascara, it looks really nice, lasts all day, doesn't make me look like a raccoon. Flakes just a little bit at the end of the day, but it doesn't smudge, which is good. But it's been a while since I tried uh, from a mascara from K Cosmetics, and I know, where is it? A couple of years ago when they just launched this mascara, this is the K Cosmetics um, Vava, 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 Vans Vava Volume Mascara. I Review this and that video is on my channel a couple of years ago. I really liked it, really liked this mascara. I don't know if I like this one or the other one. What's called the other one? I don't remember, but one of the, I really enjoyed them. The pro, my issue with it was that it dried down very fast. The product itself dried out very fast. And I never purchased it again because I get bored and like trying new products and I had plenty of mascaras, but I got it in calendar, so I want to try it again. I think I liked it. I'm almost sure I did. Um, so let's just use it again. Oh, and yeah, uh, it's this really, really, is this a mascara? I don't remember it being this small. Did it broke? No. Oh. Okay, I don't remember the, this one being so small. I don't know if they changed it, the brush, but yeah, maybe. Let's see. Definitely giving, giving volume. Now you can probably hear my kids playing 
Fortnite with your friends, screaming and having fun. So sorry for that, but when they're off, it's a never good time to film. I don't know what I feel. I, I don't like it as much as I did. It's something that throws me off. Um, feels very wet. I don't like the applicator. I think it was a little bit different before. I'm going to watch that video when I finish filming. But I had this, <laughs> I had this collection at least over a year. And this is the, what it's called, well, I can't speak. This is the, for the beauty obsess obsessed, the set with lip liner, lipstick and lip gloss in shades. I have a couple of shades. This is the lip liner. Find your perfect match with our long-lasting smudge-proof lip liner. The soft creamy formula precisely lines lips for, for looks that last lip liner. I do really enjoy plenty of beauty base products. I haven't tried their lip liner and this is in shade heater. Heater, heater, heater. No, I have to pronounce. Let's just swatch it here. And it's this kind of bird color, reddish brown color. I don't know. So we're going to use that one. Then we're going to go use the lipstick. The lipstick's in shade. This is a matte lipstick. Let your lips do the talk with our ultra cream inter. Intensely pigmented lipstick, a comfortable smudge proof formula lasts on lips all day. Find your new favorite. Uh, okay, we will. will we will. Um, my lips are dry, so we'll see. Pinch, this is color pinch. Okay, definitely creamy. Matches, the, this is a stupid play place to apply, apply the product. Can't see it. Okay. It looks more darker than the lip liner. Lip liners usually go a little bit deeper than the lipstick, but okay. Okay, where am I to talk? Feels like the mascara didn't dry down. Uh, and then we have the lip gloss and this is, oh, I didn't read it, what it says. Uh, available in a range of colors. High, this high shine pigmented lip gloss is an essential. The ultra glossy vanilla scented formula glides onto the lips for non-sticky finish. Sounds like a good product, and it's in shade slippers. Slippers. Okay. Oh, it smells really good. Almost in identical to the lipstick okay let's try those three products together I'm obsessed with the foundation okay it was easy to put on I mean no problem there I like the color it matches the eyes let's see the lipstick creamy uh, I have dry lips and it exaggerates a little bit my lips because dry lips do that and now I'm not the one who's going to put something in the lips to make them plumpier and not so I don't know normal looking but it's comfortable it doesn't feel drying just a comfortable matte lipstick. Now let's go with the lip gloss. Ooh. Oh, I love the lip gloss. On top of this, lip, this lipstick, I'm going to wipe it before I put it back. It's so comfortable. I really, really enjoy this lip, lip gloss. Okay, so this is the final look and my final thoughts. Now I do enjoy every product. I love the foundation. Really, really enjoy the foundation. It's really nice. It feels 
light on the skin. I don't even feel the foundation on my skin at all. It feels dry. Looks like my skin. Here is a close-up. It looks beautifully. I do have, you can see, uneven skin, uneven skin tone. My face is not perfect, but I still think I'm very beautiful. Now, I feel like it looks beautiful. I love this eyeshadow and I'm obsessed with eyeshadow palette, but I'm definitely obsessed with this LH Cosmetics topper or glitter or liquid, fun, liquid eyeshadow in shade, what's called, in shade Blink. It's such a beautiful color. I can't, I can't get over it. I'm obsessed. And uh, I really enjoy everything else that I applied actually really enjoy I don't like the mascara the only product I'm kind of sad about is the mascara and it did give me some length and it dried down but I just feel like the applicator is terrible I would definitely try to put kind of put, take a less product on the applicator and then try to apply it and build it up because this applicator is so small but it took so much product that it was hard to work it even on the eyelashes without making them clump together. Um, but otherwise, everything else worked really nice. The the uh, eyebrow pencils are beautiful. Everything else worked really nice. I'm obsessed with the lips. So guys, let me know down below if you tried any of these products. What do you think about them? Is there anything you're interested in? Did you buy anything? Why would you buy? Let me know down below. Let me also down below know if you want to see other products or other makeup looks with this palette or other palettes whatever just let me know down below because this is channel for you what are you interested in my full honest review my full honest thoughts not sponsored not anything just my raw truth <laughs> if you want to know let me know down below thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in my next video i love you all bye